Hi, so this is the final video in this series of videos that handles uh, with robotic manufacturing in NX Cam. Um, as background, the first video uh, we had a look at adding the the, the KUKA KR16 model to, uh, to our uh, machine library. Uh, in the second video, we created uh, um, a, a manufacturing operation uh, in order to manufacture a certain geometry and create certain tool paths. And in the third video, we started applying robotic rules because robotic rules are very important to help the robotic uh, the robot decide uh, which which movements movements to make in order to successfully complete the tool path. So this video will handle mostly on um, a little bit of configuration, uh, just uh, where if we want to change the the um, the pocket. Uh, or the pocket position of the of the tool, or if you want to, um, if if the robot was set up in a specific manner, we can maybe change the the the, the post for it, just so that it uh, post processes correctly. Um, as for interest's sake, uh, we can go to the program order view. This is something that I haven't done, just in order to post process um, the tool path that we generated. We can select, we can highlight it on this side. I can say post process, uh, the KUKA KRL post processor will pop up. I can click OK and we will get an information window with the necessary um, SRC file, is what they call it. So you can see all of the linear move movements that the robot will use in order to move to the different positions. Okay, so I can just close that one. Uh, what uh, what we want to do now is let's see uh, it, what happens if we change the the position of the pocket. So where do we do that? Here on the side we've got something called Machine Tool Navigator and I can go and click on that. So we can see the Kuga KR16 is our top and we can start moving down um, these parts. This is for all of the um, different segments of the ro robot and we can see here on the final one we've got pocket I can right click on pocket and say edit machine component and what we want to do now is just edit where that coordinate system sits so if we move zoom in here a bit we can see that Y is in that direction Z is down and X is inward and I can go and open up the syslog uh, the, the coordinate system dialog box so now we can move this around I can drag this out a bit maybe and let's put a little bit of a rotation on there something like that and we can see we can say this this is where our our tool sits so if we go into this side and we go to uh, machine tool and we click on ball mill this is just to indicate how the tool looks. This is the, its position that it will use. So as you can see, it is in a different angle. And we can go to this machine side program order view. So um, now that we've moved this, we can just do another simulate machine on this. And we will see that indeed it uses this new position of the tool and we can see the angle of that last um, segment actually angled nicely towards how the tool is now positioned so it's very important to make sure that the angles are correct when setting up this this what I now did was relatively arbitrary um, but this is the method that you will use in order to set up a different pocket position so the next thing that we'll do, I'm just going to change, I'm just going to move this pocket back. Oh, it doesn't really matter, I can continue. Um, so just if, it depends on how the KUKA robot was set up. So usually, um, if, if you need to change anything in terms of uh, where the spindle or the spindle um, projection vector, we can go into here, yeah, into tools, and then there's something po like post configurator. So you'll see on the if it's not uh, if you don't see it directly it will be on the drop down and we can go to post configurator 
it will ask us to select the post processor we can select the KUKA KRL which is KUKA, um, KUKA robotic language you can say OK and here in the bottom it says robotic settings and it asks for tool and base so here we can just see spindle tool axis is set to uh, positive, positive X but these are the three options that you have for that and that's just dependent on how, how you set up your model uh, uh, how you set up your robot rather and that is as simple as that if any changes are made to this uh, you can use that to post process it's always important to save the post processor before you post process just to make sure that your your changes have been updated but this is the this is the most complex parts of the robotic machining side thank you for watching the series and we will keep you updated if there are any more changes in this robotic manufacturing side.